Yo, yo, what up, world? Happy Sunday. Welcome back to the Coach's Playbook. It's yours truly, as always, Coach Joseph. It is Sunday, June 21st, and it is Father's Day. Um, it's Father's Day. If you follow me on IG and Facebook, then you already know the drill. I'm up, I'm at it. Today's a recovery day, um, and it is also the end of week nine in my cut. So this is also um, growth season episode five. And this will be the last the last vlog that I do to wrap this series up that started back in April. Um, I know y'all seen that way in. And we started at 215.8, 187.4 this morning, nine weeks. And to be honest with y'all, I feel good. Um, as far as look wise, I maintain, I know the majority of my muscle and now it's just about my reverse diet. So I'm going to hold, hold steady for the next week. Like I say, today is Father's Day. So I know my wife and my kids, um, they got something planned, um, for us to eat good. And it was awesome how Father's Day fell on today, you know, so because Sunday's have been my weekly check-in, my weekly weigh-in, so I can see exactly where I'm at to prep and plan for the week. Y'all check them bikers out. Man, outdoors and it's beautiful too. So, I'm getting ready to go on my walk. I got my that weighted vest on, link is in the description. Um, and then I'm gonna put on my training mask as well. And it's a recovery day. Tomorrow's my long run, six miles. So. I'm just gonna take the nice recovery walk, listen to you know one of my favorite podcasts, and I'm gonna take y'all with me throughout the day. I'm gonna show y'all um, the food that we're gonna have later on. I'm not going crazy, but I am gonna enjoy that 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 one free meal. And for those who are new to me, when I say free meal, free meal just simply means I'm freeing my mind. I don't believe in cheat meals, just a meal. I'm not thinking about the calories. I'm not thinking about tomorrow i'm just gonna enjoy it in a moment but leading up to that point i'm not going crazy all day i'm gonna keep my protein pretty decent um and then we're gonna go about three three to four you know so i could really stretch that food out throughout the rest of the day so anyway it's time to go ahead and take then we got a two and a half mile walk i will see y'all in a bit let's eat I was thinking, and I figured <clears throat> since I'm finishing up my walk, I might as well chime in on it real quick. And it's like, there's a lot of people doing whatever it is you want to do. You know, like doctors, lawyers, ball players, coaches, you know, but everybody's sauce ain't the same. It's what makes what makes your brownie different? I got that from one of the guys. It's real influential. Um, and he's influential just because of his mindset. He's Jesse Isler. And I got a chance to see him in uh, Austin, Texas um, during a conference. He was a keynote speaker, but it was crazy. I also like, ran into him in the streets of Austin, Texas when we were headed out. I was with a company I was working for at the time. And his presentation was on what makes your brownie different. It's a lot of people doing what you're doing. What makes you stand out? What makes people may try something else, but they're gonna come back to you. Or they disregard everything else because there's always gotta be something that stands out. So I said that when, I, when it comes to being a nutrition coach. And I understand when it comes to training because I'm also, you know, a certified trainer too. But when it comes to nutrition, I feel like you should be a byproduct of what you're talking about. And that's why I spent these last nine weeks making sure that as I continue to build, you know, my business, my online coaching and 
been getting a lot of new clients in and it's a lot easier to deal with them because you know no matter where you at in the world as long as you got a computer we can work and you know i don't sell workouts i don't sell meal plans i said i solve problems and i solve problems for my audience so at the end of the day i feel like you should you should at least look somewhat <laughs> if not damn near as close as possible to whatever your field is and that's just my two cents and that's why it's on youtube this is my channel and you watching because we on the same page drop me a comment below if you if you feel me if you if you say you're a nutrition coach at least you need to somewhere look like you understand it and then you know have some 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 social proof to back it up but um I had somebody ask me the other day, they're like, man, coach, like, yo, you go hard, man, every day, you up, you at it, you get it. And I say, one, I know what works for me. And then, of course, as a professional, I have to learn you to know what works for you. But for me, I'm not doing it for the look. It ain't about the abs. It ain't about me taking my shirt off at the beach or the pool. I am doing this for two main reasons. And when I say doing this, meaning getting myself back to a comfortable, healthy body fat percentage, but also being more functional because one, I have children, I have three, they mean the world to me. And I wanna be around for every single thing that they have, God willing, I wanna be able to get up, get down, and be as active as possible. And number two, I'm doing this for the guy 10 years older than I am right now. So the 10 year older than I am now, me, that's what I'm doing this for. Because he's thinking, he will thank me. So let me finish up. Let's talk to y'all soon. y'all so we have had our recovery walk we've done our yoga stretch and we've done our Epsom salt bath that's what Sundays look like to recover to prepare for the upcoming week and also prepare mentally get the week set out so I know how I'm gonna work how I'm gonna train um and of course how I attend to you know all my all my duties so I'm gonna show you how I look real quick without no food I showed y'all that weigh-in this morning was at um was at 187.4. So I'm gonna go all angles. But this is no food, I'm flat as hell. I need carbs, I need sodium, <laughs> and I definitely need to free my mind. So today we're gonna have a free meal. Um, I'm gonna get on the game plan. We're just gonna get in now some um, some fruit and some protein and take care of the rest of the day. But I'll show you how I look at the end of the day once, I'm, once I get my, my meal in and all my other foods and I'm carved up. And let's see if we can really fill in these muscles because we flat. Real flat. All right, y'all. Be back in a minute. How important it is to be accurate with the plates on the So weight, crazy. The on the bar. So I'm sitting here so watching. This from a legitimacy standpoint, because this um, is a long time. A recap. The bench press. You so know, this cat Julius Maddox, man, power lifter, going for, you know, the world record. He already got the world record, but he was attempting an 800 pound lift. He How the hell? You. It's, it's put the wrong no plates on. They was missing a whole 55 so pound plate. It was live on ESPN in front of the world. Um, just to attempt. Look at it. it. And I do think that this just because they loaded the ball second, wrong. Uh, Bro. Idiot so move. Damn, that could have gave right, power lift the man even bigger platform. So if I were the organizer wow. of this event, 
which is crazy, man. Before I go ahead and start checking in on clients, it's wild. So we going ahead, taking in that first meal, which not going crazy. Of course, we got about 200 grams of fruit, and we got 35 grams of uh, protein. And we're gonna do some client check-ins on Sunday. Um, you know, I got the quarantine 15 challenge into this last week. So I'm gonna finish that. I get check-ins on that. Then we got the last Q and A today. Next challenge coming up, uh, July 6th. You know, and that's my eat and get lean 30 day challenge. So it's going down, man. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. Start getting some carbs in my body. I can't wait to show y'all where we going later on. But yo, let's eat. What up, world? All right, we get ready to get out of here. Wife, kids already went downstairs. Some simple, shorts, tee, little boat shoes. Dad head to the back, we out. We're going to get some Mexican. My favorite, I'm gonna show you when we get down. What up, world? It is time to eat. We heading out the door. It's about to go down. We're going to a spot I never been to. Some Mexican food. I'll show you when we get down. Mexican spot, right here in the community. Let me show y'all. Agave Azul. Got the fam fam. We get them unloaded. Let me show y'all the food. A couple of margaritas. Yo, yo, what up, world? So we done got settled in. We got the settled in. Got, you already know. We got the entire fam fam. All the young ones. And you know the beautiful mess is across the table. You know, it's definitely a good spot though. You know, they're nice and safe. Made sure everybody had masks on when we came in. Um, the, the, the spacing as far as, I mean, it's like maybe another other couple that's in. And you know, we all from the corner. So, you know, of course we're gonna keep our, you know, our beliefs up what it is and enjoy this time out. But right now we chewing on, we, we eating on some, uh, eating on some of these boys. You already know, of course, because we're just, just starting off, and then I want y'all to make sure you know that we really out here eating, so. And then I'll show you the food. Then I'll show you the food. Then I'll show you the food. All right? Let's get it. Margarita. All right, y'all. So look, let's show y'all real quick. Let's see, let's eat this. Margarita, keeping it simple. Just increasing. Fill up with these cards. Still got fingertips left. And then we got some corn tortillas um, that's gonna come instead. But that's what we're about to eat on. Listen, stay disciplined, hard. You can enjoy it. We get back on track, baby. It's all about to show y'all dessert. Show them, baby. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. Let me show them what you got. Mm. I got some. So I got a tortilla Mommy, with some cheese, meat, and um. Come on, babies. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what it's about, y'all. I know everybody ain't got no family. We're only really gonna follow the day. But no matter what you do, it's about balance. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. Such a blessed man. Y'all say what's up. Nice and full, man. What's up? Nice and full. Pick up some dessert and head to the crib. I'll show y'all that later too. It's been an awesome day, man. Father's Day. see us the next day after I finished that amazing meal we left we came home I had me a couple margaritas I damn near passed out <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to finish the video but I woke up this morning um, before I got into my run Mondays I've been making that a long run day for me 
and I woke up at 190. So I was 187, um, I think 0.4. So you said what, 0. 0.6? So 2.6 pounds, um, I was 190, you know? So I'll be down, definitely filled up, definitely filled up. Got plenty of carbs, as y'all see, plenty. So now for this week, all we're gonna do is get, we just right back on track and I'm gonna see how this week levels off. And I'm gonna take you through Sunday with the same calories that I was eating. And then based on how my weigh-ins are throughout the week, I'm gonna start my reverse diet. Um, and then I'll take y'all along the journey with me as well. That'll be a whole new series um, or I'll just put out weekly videos. Y'all let me know which one you, you kind of want to see as I go through that reverse diet. But woke up this morning, 190, feeling good, feeling tight. We got a long day ahead of us. Happy Monday. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and let's eat.